Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back, everybody. Fuck you, Alina. Uh, week 11. Here we go. It's fucking state week. Hop on the train. That's a disrespectful oh, line. Uh, so, quite an interesting week. Uh, college football, shit ton of cancellations. Um, definitely affected some of our cards. But we'll get into the updated uh, units and records in a sec. But real quick, how's everyone doing? How's your guys' weekend? Good, man. Good. Yeah, I mean, I was I was a bad beat and a Ravens – or I guess I'm, I'm bad beat and a monsoon away from going flawless on the week. But You think that Ravens game was a bad beat? No, that was a – that's the monsoon. <laughs> Oh yeah, I thought it, like a game guy can't. Okay. Wait, 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 and and so I noticed on Brett's card in the NFL week, he had the Cardinals at minus two. Yeah. So does he get him at minus two and a half or two? Because I have him at two and a half. Right. He added it, I guess. Uh, no, he he texted the same day we picked. We all picked okay. the same day. Then I'll give you. I don't uh, care what it is, but we got to like. It it's should be the same. Yeah. yeah, we got to call that definitely. But um, but it would be different if you added it later because it got up to three. Yeah, yeah, Monday. exactly. Yeah, right. we I think, the same day. But if you say it on the same day, then yeah, it's either – I mean, if it's two, it's two, or if it's two and a well, half. You, half, you half, sent but. yours the next day. Yeah, yeah, who did? Me? Yeah. No, Alina sent his on Thursday. Oh, but okay. Brett okay. sent his on Thursday. Or uh, Wednesday. Well, that could week. be it oh, because okay. that I know that Maybe. line that line fluctuated like between two and three and a half, like a hundred right. different times. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was kind of like in terms of college football, it was pretty fucking boring weekend. You know what I mean? Like it was just yeah. like, like, like you know. Some people, a lot. Of, I don't know why, but some people thought that like Michigan State was maybe going to give IU a game. Like Michigan State is so bad, and IU is proven each week they're pretty good. So, but like that was it, one. It of did the, feel like a trap game, though, kind of. It, it felt like all these games. Like it felt like Boston College was going to trap Notre Dame, and then that ended. Like Notre mm-hmm. Dame took a knee on the three yard line, could have won by twenty one. Uh, like actually, yeah. say I'm glad they didn't because I had BC fourteen. But like, Frickin like Brian just, Kelly. It just felt like all of these games that were like everyone was calling a trap game, which I get kind of why, but like they were all just the team who you thought was going to win one and then they just moved on. It wasn't like it was just crazy how like normally weekends like this in college football, I feel like it's just madness, you know, when it's like, oh, boring weekend of football, madness yeah. but happens. All hell I, will, works. I will say I, I didn't put it on my card, but I was up. Saturday night, and I was just like, fuck it, I'm going to bet on the last two games. Oh, no. I took Washington and Oregon State under 51, okay? It oh, was, you took the under? I took the under. It was 24 oh. to 21 at halftime. 24 to 21. One touchdown. The game's over, okay? Oregon State gets stopped on the four-yard line in the fourth quarter, which I would see on Twitter. It was like a super controversial stop. Like, it was – the guy was like – a yard past the first down and they even reviewed it and said he wasn't like it was then they came out on like monday morning and said that, like the officiating crew fucked it up and he should have been it they would have scored a touchdown the game ends 27 to 21 they scored three points in the second half it was one of the craziest bets i've ever like been a part of because i was like they're like <laughs> dude what is going on on like this is unreal yeah. that's that's, that's one like of the worst bad beats for the over this oh season. there's zero that, reason that game should have won. like if you would have saw like oregon state could not stop uh washington running the ball and also washington was like not really being able to stop oregon state that much either like it was like one of those you figured someone was going to score a touchdown let alone like yeah maybe multiple it was fucking wild but that was really the only that game, and then I guess the Purdue Northwestern game was like somewhat interesting. I mean, you had like both those teams are pretty good. Just so I mean, so it made it a somewhat decent game. But I don't that know. that under reminded me of the Broncos. Remember when uh, the Broncos and the who was the uh, Broncos and the Bucks had a very sent like where it was damn near Spider had ten k on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They scored like they scored five, like five total points in the yeah. second half. Or yeah, it was yeah. a safety and a field goal. 
Yeah, insane. But that also, like, speaking of not – like, it looked like they were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden they just stopped. Like, Washington State, the Oregon backdoor cover was nuts. Like, that game – Oregon had oh no God. business covering that shit, and they somehow – God, like, yeah. That was that, crazy. Well, it was like the first half, Washington – speaking of that game, like, Washington State's not that good. They have this quarterback who's, like, yeah. a freshman. He looked he, pretty he's good. Kinda, the he's kind of nasty. Yeah, like, he's yeah. not bad at all. But, like – I felt like the second half they were like afraid to let him like air it out. It's like, dude, you're losing the game. And then yeah, Oregon though, yeah. like they went from that freshman quarterback who could not get a like a good drive going to like they couldn't even tackle any running back that they yeah. I, I actually ended up taking Washington State in that game. And uh yeah, there was literally no reason why they should not have covered that game. That was ridiculous. Yeah, I thought that was the the t- the annual Oregon blew it tweet. I thought that was a for sure yep. thing coming. There was and also they... two games that so Tulsa. I mean, they were down twenty four to seven at halftime to SMU. Yes. Comes oh, back, wow. wins twenty eight twenty eight twenty four, and then Miami. Man, I mean, yeah, they probably. I mean, it's like at this point they're seven and one. They just keep fucking somehow finding a way to win, which is absurd because it doesn't seem like they're a good football team. That'd be a imagine Notre, imagine Notre Dame and in, in, in my at Miami instead of North Carolina. That'd be a sketchy. I'd be oh nervous yeah as fuck about that. I would too because Miami's like, I mean yeah they win club but like they keep winning so it's like you know third yeah. decent team. That yeah that would be a awesome game because North Carolina dude I feel like Notre Dame's gonna be able to score like sixty five points. Their defense yeah. is so bad so bad so bad. Like I, I I that was one of the games I was very worried about at the beginning and like. You know, when they were winning and now that that game I was more worried about Boston College than I am that game if I'm being honest like yeah, I don't see that being a problem at all for sure barring like some insane fucking hurricane weather I hope that's not the fucking case I don't even know how far inland Raleigh is or whatever the fuck they play uh it's kind of by uh North Carolina State so if North Carolina State can get that crazy weather then I think I would assume North Carolina can too yeah let's just pray that doesn't happen uh naggy you got i mean you should just like full-blown become a college fan like i use actually playing well uh, i don't well, let's talk about that how can you be how, i don't i honestly like don't under i get it but i college is so much better than nfl football it seems and like just looking at it naggy say why you why you're on the other side of that i, I just want to hear somebody is it is it no, no no let me ask this too though which I could understand. Is it like growing up, the Bears were dead? Like, IU football sucks. And that was your team. So it was like, maybe like, okay, my college team blows. Yeah. So I start watching. Is that, was that like part of it? Or are you frozen? Dude, he's been frozen this whole time, I think. Wait, his eyes are moving. They're moving slow, though. Hello? Yeah, hey. Yeah, he, he's lagging. Are you, he, have you? Did you hear any of that? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, I can hear you guys. I've been trying to figure out my Wi-Fi. He's like, yeah, he's way behind. Yeah, he's super behind. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> wow. Nagy, you might All have right, said, how about now? Yeah, there you go. You just, like, caught up. We were talking about um, – College versus NFL. College versus NFL. And you said, how are you a bigger NFL fan than college? He just feels like it should be college. And I asked also, when you were growing up, you obviously like IU and the Bears. Like, IU has been historically bad other than these past few years. Like, so were you growing up, you were just like, fuck it. Like, my college team's horrible, so I like the NFL more or what? Um, before I start talking, do I sound all right at least? Yeah. yeah, you sound perfectly fine. Okay, cool. That's all I care about. Okay. Um, yeah, bro. Um, I, I don't want to get into the Bears too much because I'm sure we will on the NFL show. And it's just depressing right now. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I use 4-0. 4-0 against the spread. Uh, 4-0 outright. Uh, I mean – they didn't even really play that well against Michigan State, and they still no, no, no. Should. But we're asking like growing up, like your, oh, your lifetime, your lifetime fandom. Like, did you yeah. start to become more of an NFL <laughs> fan because like 
you like the Bears and the Bears were pretty good and IU was horrible? Or did you just grow okay. up liking the NFL more than college in general? Um, yeah, like when I was a kid, it was mostly just Notre Dame. Like I didn't really pay attention to IU, yeah. I, IU football until like I was getting ready to go there because I wanted to start like knowing some of the players that were going to be playing while <laughs> I was a student. So like, Did you go to the football games a lot? Well, yeah, so I don't know if, what it was like when you went there, but when you bought season tickets for basketball. Yeah, they just threw in football, yeah. They, they, they like, made you purchase the football. Oh, no, like, yeah, yeah, you couldn't not buy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. right, yeah. right yeah. You, had to, you had to purchase the uh, basketball season tickets. It was, like, an extra, like, 60 bucks. It was, like, 10 yeah. bucks a game. Yeah, I was so, like, oh, here's – just take it. <laughs> right, so um, – but, yeah, I was pretty much just, like, Notre Dame football, obviously, like, growing up in South Bend. And then I was a Bears and a Colts fan, um, just until just until the Super Bowl, though. Because <laughs> so how was that Super Bowl for you? <laughs> so like my dad looked at me like maybe like a half hour before the Super Bowl started. You have to like one. And team. he was like, "Yeah, this is like you need to pick one team because when you look back at the Super Bowl, you don't want to like remember it as cheering for both teams. Like you should pick one now and just." Oh no! And you chose wrongly. <laughs> no, I didn't, because I was I was a bigger Cubs fan than any other sport at that time. Oh, I still am. So you just stuck so, with uh, stuck with Chicago. No, that's I mean that's like it is what it is. But I'm still so happy. When, I'm still happy with the choice I made. Like I really enjoy. I like the the fan base and like the franchise itself is so much stronger than. Yeah, like Chicago's fans. Yeah, it's, a, it's one yeah. of the original teams. But I mean, Chicago's like a probably a top seven fan base in the NFL. Yeah, and brand overall. But it that, that I could not imagine um, being a fan of both teams going into it was a Super mostly Bowl. it was mostly just Peyton Manning. Like my like when I would be at home watching NFL games. Yeah, yeah. Manning, Manning's the goat. Like, we would, like, we were from Indiana. Yeah. Like you gotta so, like. Man. Growing up, I would watch the well. Yeah, Bears I mean, where, games. where we were from, you got the Bears and the Colts game. Those were your yeah. Every game. every single time, we that, yeah. it was so fucking annoying. But yeah. I liked the Colts side of it. Yeah, and I can't really stand people that are like our age and still kind of root that way. Like I have some friends that are both a Cubs and a White Sox fan. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just right, bro. You, like, get the fuck out of here. What the and, hell? Yeah, I was so like whenever that'd be I like that being up, a that'd be like being a Packers and a Bears fan. Like it, it's <laughs> like like the White Sox and Cubs are like they're rivals, so they're not just like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Crosstown Showdown, bro. Come on. Yeah, that's that's a bit much, man. So or there, I'm or like in New York, like like it's like sacrilegious to be a Jets and a Giants or like a Yankee, yeah Yankees. Jets, oh man. yeah. Hell yeah. Like some Islanders, people are Rangers, like, I like that. both of them because I, I live in New York and I'm I'm Shut quirky. The fuck up. Yeah, those bro, are, those are <laughs> you know you know males that are like that, you're saying? That like the yeah, white. I know I, I know I have some guy friends that are like still both a fan of like the White Sox and Cubs, and then also the Bears and the Colts. Like they, Bro, that's, they're a all four teams. that's a little sus. That's a little sus. You got to grow up at some point. But they're not. Right? They're not nearly as big of. Like, they're not real sports, sports. fans. Yeah, I that's, wouldn't. That's obvious. I wasn't gonna go that far. I was just gonna say like they're yeah. not as big of. You can fans. anyone listening to this can conclude that's the case though. I, like, I'm sure are. he's not a big enough sports fan to be taking time out of his week mm-hmm. to watch this. So yeah, fuck you, Nate. No way. <laughs> Nah, his name is Nate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no way. I, hope, I, hope if he someone... likes, I guarantee he's not watching this if he likes all four of those. That, 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 like, speaking of Noah, though, that would be like Noah Dicely. He would just like, <laughs> for any team that, like, he has any, like, you know, one of his friends liked him, so he just, like, starts liking him. <laughs> like, yeah. But uh, he's not going to listen to this either, so we don't have to worry about that one. But all right, let's get into some fucking games. All right, cool. Real quick before we get into the week 11 slates, um, real quick update on how we all did uh, for our college picks in week 10. Uh, Michael, pretty even week, plus half a unit, 3-3-1, three, three and one, uh, tied, his, uh, tied on his do or die, um, Texas Dude, team, minus what one. fucking sucks is before the game, tech, like, I ended up, Betting it again on Saturday. What was that? Plus two. Oh, so well, mm. at least you actually made money. 
And yeah, you just took I know. Tie on your card. But I, you, neither of you probably watched the game. But uh, they had they, there was a minute left. They were down two points. This guy broke two. No, tackles. I saw. I saw it. I saw it. He yeah. went down at the one. <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, the other team has no timeouts, and that would put you up a full score if you, because like this was this guy's first kick, or first kicking game in college. Like all was like, it? How far of a field? Oh, okay. So it, it was, was just literally an extra. Point. An extra yeah, point. Okay, it was okay. literally an extra point. But I was just like sitting there, like, dude, that's like the time when your coach would be like, no, score. It's okay. There's less than a minute. They would have to score a touchdown. They haven't like really how much? Did. How much actual time though? Like, was it like, there was, a like full 40, 43 okay. seconds? That's, that's tough though that's tough but the way like the, the score would indicate go ahead and score like there wasn't too many points in the it game. is tough but like i don't think baylor had a touchdown drive of over 45 yards the entire game yeah okay a lot of players are probably scared of making a oh top for, I, I, I get it mistake. i get it because of like everything that's happened this year like todd Gurley, the penn state game like there's been so many instances where, like, I feel like, like I feel like, bef- I feel like before, everyone has scored and then gotten bailed out, and the other team just doesn't. You know what I mean? It's, like, it, yeah, it's it's like the same. It's like the old. Do you foul them when you're? Yeah, you're up but four. It, or whatever, but it's like, it, yeah, you're you're up two. Do you foul them so they can't hit it? Or you're up three. Do you foul them so they can't tie it up? I yeah, like yeah. Most of the times when they don't foul them, like the guy just misses it, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. But like, it, it would be almost like that happening. And then the guy making it like in seven straight games, and you're like, "Well, what the fuck are we doing?" Yeah, I, I mean, I guess I get it. Like they, get, I mean, in his point of view, like they kicked the last second field goal and won, so you can't really. But all right, that was a long rant about that. <laughs> back, but um, or like Nick Chubb, he could have scored that. Nick Chubb, yeah, that just happened this past week, and right. both both of those. Were like completely altered the spread, like altered line who's breakers. Win. They were yeah. line breakers. Yeah, because the Browns. I think the Browns were minus three and a half. They were. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were. Three. So, sucks to suck. Three and a half. Stay, and a half yeah. I stay away from Browns games now. I know better than to bet on make Baker Mayfield. Fuck him. Uh, Dude, he's all right. horrible. Um, also, uh, I had the second place for the week. Uh, pretty normal. I mean, not normal for me, considering how bad I am at NFL, but. I didn't really move much. I won 2.7 units, three and four record, hit my do or die. Uh, Wisconsin minus four against – four and a half against Michigan. Might have been the easiest fucking bet of the week in college football. That, mm-hmm. That's just like a – you don't even – at no point did you sweat and think there's no way they no. did over this. Like not even like – after like the first two plays, <laughs> you're like, all right, they're going to win by 30. Yeah, I just felt bad. Like some of my friends like were like, oh, my God, like – Wisconsin all the way up to like minus seven and a half. I have to take Michigan. I'm like, no, you fucking don't. Yeah. Just don't bet the game. Like, like, have you watched Michigan one time this year? There's so no bad. fucking way. I, yeah. Like, it's either you, that, like, just like you said, Nagy, you either take Wisconsin or you don't fucking touch it. You right. never yeah. take Michigan. Like, it, dude, <clears throat> Michigan, they still have to play. Like, I know Penn State sucks, but it, that's almost like who's ever at home is probably. Dude, that might be the game. fucking toilet bowl. Like, no, but that's actually, like a. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. It's like whoever's at home is probably going to win that game. They're 100% losing to Ohio State. Like, Michigan might win three games this year. Dude, Ohio State could win that game like 63 to 10. I hope they do. And then rounding rounding out the standings, we got Alina. Yeah, how'd I do? Won another nine units in week 10. Uh, Five and oh, perfect. Could have gone six and oh. One of the games got COVIDed out. Um, Oh, I would have. I would have. I would have won another four and a half units if same with me and my parlay like it was the two easiest games got canceled for me and the two toughest games ended up winning yeah that was a that was a that was a true covid you got covid cuffed i just i think <laughs> i would have won two more units but you yeah you lost like four um that parlay oh yeah and then alina's alina's do or die this week was liberty minus 32 and a half no they, doubter they won by four yeah, I was gonna four, say so no i mean doubt. It's just crazy when you can take a line over like thirty points like that and still cover by a touchdown. Bro, the, who'd they half. play again? It was Western Carolina, man. Or something yeah. like that. I I thought they would like the maybe first, not that's, cover though because they they have NC State this week and yeah. they just beat Va Tech. It was like that middle track game where it's like, okay, let's get our guys in, let's win by twenty five, and let's get out of here. 
See, but, but the, the only problem, the reason I thought the same thing, but Western Carolina has not played a game yet. Oh, that was their first game? That was their first game, so I hammered it, yeah. Oh, that, that, yeah, that makes more sense, I guess, for sure. But really- I was getting a little scared, though. Western Carolina was moving the fucking ball a little bit in the first half. I was like, God damn, can you guys get a fucking stop, please? And then somehow they – they second half adjustments were great, and they did not – Dude, Liberty's their- fucking good. Like, yeah, they, they are. What are they? Where are they? They're 22 team? now, I think. They're 8-0. Oh. and oh. They play – gonna- yeah. They put NC State this week, who's – I, I, three. they're plus NC three and, and a half i know they haven't been favored against an acc team this year and they've won it other no they were favored against syracuse but who isn't but <laughs> um yeah they were actually i forgot about that they uh i mean they've beaten this would be their fourth i think acc <laughs> win, third or fourth i love them here in this spot too with the points they're, oh, they're yeah they're money line. good dude so that brings alina on the season up to just over 40, 43 units profit. Um, I am just over 11, and Michael's just under seven for the season. So, I mean, we're all, I mean, we're all beating the system. Uh, yeah, Michael damn. or Alina is anally savaging the bookie right now. Holy um, shit, 43. Yeah. yeah so, and the thing is, is like me and Nagy, like I'm really good on my DODs. Olena, you have a 36, 23, and two record. Like, that's yeah. absurd. You're so out of 49, 46. So, yeah, you're at like 66. You're hitting at like 66% right now. Dude, it's just like, I wonder who's been, I wonder who's been just fading me on the low and just, or uh, tailing me on the low and just ripping the fucking bookies. Yeah, like six, 60, like 64, 65%. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Wild. So, yeah, that's that's fantastic. Uh, won't get into the numbers too much on the NFL show, at least for me. But that being said, let's get into week 11, win some more units, get some, pick some more winners. Let's go. First, first game we're going to talk about this week, we got Appalachian State. Speaking of Michigan being awful. Uh, and then they're going over to Coastal Carolina. Uh the spread is five and a half. Uh, Coastal Carolina is a favorite. Over under is forty eight. I don't know fucking shit about either of these teams. I've seen Coastal Carolina play like a quarter and a half of football this year. So wait, what's the dude? What's the over at here? Forty eight. Dude, hammer it. What the I don't fuck? know, dude. Is, it, is is weather weather? It's aside, in Carolina. It's in Carolina. So. If there's bad weather, then disregard that. But, but App, prob- App State plays good defense and runs the ball a lot. That's the only thing I could think of. But Coastal Carolina is a fucking good football team. Their coach is a great coach. They have a blue turf field, not like stupid Boise's like dark turf. This is yeah, like, it's like a beautiful – It's like a beautiful – yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. teal field. It's like – I'm pretty sure it's like in Myrtle Beach on the beach, like the campus is. Like, this is like a perfect school. Fucking, I love Coastal Carolina. It's at, at home. You said minus five and a half. Yeah, I love them by a touchdown in this game. F State, everyone's just like still high on them because they won the. Um, what is this the fun belt? Yeah, right. Dude, that field is so sick. It literally looks like a fucking ocean. Here, like show, a, show the, uh, show your camera. That's what I'm saying. Like this, this isn't this like is, a gay boys. It looks like a day. pool. Yeah, oh, and this one dark. looks cool, and it look. They wear like these black and that color. It's dope, but everyone, yeah, this is awesome. But everyone's still high on App State because who did they just beat? Coastal. No, who did App State just beat, or what? Why are they so high on them? Because they've won like the uh, <clears throat> fun, fun bell every year they've been in it. Oh, so, like, okay. no one like really like. It's kind of like one of those, like, until you beat them, like, they're going to win it every year. But I think Coastal is good enough this year. I think Coastal should win the fun belt. I like Coastal in this game. And you know what? I'm going to watch this game Saturday at 11 a.m. Are you kidding me? Great 11 a.m. spot. You know who also plays that? Well, that's that's Central, right? 11 Central for well, you? Well, 12, yeah, 12 p.m. Yeah. You know who also Eastern. plays at that time? I know, Ohio State IU. We got a stack 12 p.m. slate East. Holy all right. Um, what, about, what about you, Alina? What yeah, you so I I think this is going to be within the the five points, but I that's not where I'm going to advise here. Um, 
too tough to call. It could, it's, I think it's just going to be within a score ish. Uh, I, but I literally love this over, like, absolutely love it. Um, Coastal's court, uh, offense is very good. Yeah. And, um, App State is, has put up points too. So I'm, mm-hmm. I'm trying to see if they, they definitely they, can. Yeah. Yeah. Like last week with, I think last week is kind of like driving this down a little bit. Cause other than that, their app state's putting up 38, 31, 45. They've, they've had some like. Except breaks for against in Marshall. They didn't score yeah. that much. Oh yeah. Mar- that Marshall game was another one. I, I actually watched that. Uh, I think I had. Yeah. App I, had state a, or something. I had app state too. Weren't they like plus like 14 or. Uh, I forget, but it, yeah, that was, that was like a super. Cr- Cause Marshall lights it up too. Like that was a weird game for both fucking teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, other than that. Like, so obviously there's outliers, but then since the Marshall, they put up 52, 45, 31, 38, and 17 against Georgia State. So they can put up the points. Um, I know they've played some shitty teams in between there, but in Coastal's got to be the best team they've played since Marshall. So this, we'll mm-hmm. see like how, what their offensive capabilities are. But um, I, I honestly, I guess you're going to take the over. You, you might lean plus five app state i guess i don't really know it doesn't really make that much sense in my head but yeah i i, I do like the over here i think it's 48 pretty fucking low yeah it kind of like the way you guys describe these teams um until you said the scores i was thinking in my head that kind of feels like a double dip spot where like if you take the over you should take the favorite on the points and if you yeah. like the under you should take the plus five and a half but <clears throat> now like I feel like that train of thought would fuck me. So I like the over, but I like App State plus five and a half. Um, I just feel like a lot of people don't really know about these teams. So um, like the people at all. like people that just bet it to bet it might take the, the public. The public's going to be heavy on the fifth, the 15th ranked. Team yeah, I agree. As a right. Six point favorite. That's, six that's point what I'm saying. Yeah. They might they might be trying to like squeeze out like people to bet too high of a number. So I kind of like five and a half from that side of thinking. So this is me not like, again, whoever's watching this and doesn't know about these teams right there with you. So just going off what you said, I kind of like App State plus five and a half, just kind of talking it out. (laughs) I mean, I can't really give you more analytical feedback yeah, or it, this one's a tough well, one to dive into we don't so maybe fade me because i don't know much about it but also i don't know much about college football and i've been doing decent on college football this year whereas i think i'm a nfl guru and, and okay so here, here's another nfl so here's a here's a good maybe right. uh maybe i'm right here's a good common opponent <laughs> uh coastal in georgia state who App, App State's last opponent was Georgia State last week. They won 17-13. to 13. Coastal played um, Georgia State on Halloween, so spooky game, but they won 51 to nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the game that people were like, okay, Coastal actually might be legit. I remember, yeah, after they beat the shit out of Georgia State. Yeah, because Georgia State was like <laughs> – They're, like, not good, but, like, but they, they, were like, play, they yeah. play everyone tough. They, yeah, and they were getting – it was like Texas State, too, like where they were like just keeping the scores close and covering up. Well, they played uh, Louisiana or whatever after Louisiana beat Iowa State, and they lost in overtime. Like the following week, like they – Yes. They've played yeah. teams tough, so that actually is a – makes me like Coastal even more. Yeah. Michael, what sweatshirt are you repping, bro? It's my cousin's high school. His high school is that the one in Michigan? Uh, Illinois. Okay, because I thought it was that fucking uh, same high school for a second where that kid is blowing the up TikTok. on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, because they're they're the Spartans and it's up in Michigan, so it is it is a Spartan. I would I would I would buy a sweatshirt from that high school. Yeah, their colors what, are pretty dope. What's the TikTok? What is he? Is he just like well, running? I'll show you. I'll, like, I'll show I'll, you. Uh, yeah, I'll between I'll, the two episodes. Or I'll something. send it to you, but like. Basically, this, this like, they have, like, a videographer girl, like, who goes to their school, and she was just, like, making, like, kind of dope <laughs> videos of, like, their games and stuff, like, of highlight yeah. videos and stuff like that, and then they just started, like, doing these, like, mini music videos with different songs, <clears throat> but then, like, one blue, like, this dude, blue, uh, this dude who's, like, the, he's, like, the star running back, he's going to Harvard, fucking 
like rushes for 230 and four TDs a game. That's what he was averaging. Yeah. And uh, he uh, he's like the main person in it, you know, and mm-hmm. uh, um, like the dude had no TikToks with like 500,000 K followers. Like that's how much this video blew up. It was like the yeah. mo- it's like the most known TikTok video, right? It's it's absurd. Yeah, Barstool even like reposted it. Too. Yeah, on their and, main like, page. Like, yeah, and they was... got like five hundred thousand likes in like a day and a half or something. Like it's it's, uh, it's crazy. It, it it is good. We'll we'll send you that. We'll we'll I'll retweet it uh this weekend if any of us like if we all hit our do or dies or something like that feeling <laughs> when you all hit your do or die. That video is kind of a bop. Like JB, Justin Bieber, bro. Kind of underrated. Yeah, it's a fucking it's a fucking it's a Bieber song. What? Dude, it's it's it's, 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 it's not like it's Bieber it's a good and Kingston. One, yeah, back in the, like throwback days, like Bieber and what? Kingston. Yeah, you'll any, you'll any you'll like it. Like, you'll know you'll, the song for sure. I mean, it was we might have overhyped it. Yeah, I was gonna say you guys are pushing this up crazy. Like, I'm like, what is I'm, this gonna dude, be, dude? It's it, you're gonna probably think it's stupid, Alina. I'm gonna just tell you that right now. I know you are. Yeah, Alina. Will probably <laughs> like, be like, what the fuck? But like, dude, views views don't lie. I mean, this yeah, dude, uh, this dude has like he just posted. He that's posted that's how a, he got it. How do you think he got his offer from Harvard? I mean, yeah, right. no, it was before. He, post, but, he yeah. posted a t- he posted a TikTok. Like Harvard today. offer offers a kid from TikTok. For TikTok. He posted a TikTok today, Alina. It got it's his first TikTok ever. Within one day, it has 1.6 million views. Like, yep, yeah, dude. You can, TikTok is a crazy like you can get a if you get views if like you get that. famous on TikTok, dude. You're like set because you're gonna it. It's crazy like all these little kids just fucking watch it like fifty thousand times. Right. Yeah. All right. And then, we need to move right, next. From it. <laughs> all right. Next game. TikToks and all. Yeah, uh, fuck that. Oh. All right. So we got um. We got my do or die saving grace team going over to Northwestern, taking on former Indiana University starting quarterback in Northwestern, Peyton Ramsey. Uh, Northwestern is 3 0, 4 0. 4 0. I know they're undefeated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 4 0. I wasn't sure if they took a week off, too. Uh, no, they haven't had a game canceled. Um, they're hosting Wisconsin. They're a seven and a half point underdog. And the over under is forty four. This wow. is like Northwestern Peyton Ramsey, man. He's actually doing really good for them, and their defense is fucking solid. Um, but Wisconsin, dude, Wisconsin's fucking good. Like I know Michigan sucks, but like Wisconsin's fucking good. I I don't really know who I would take in this game. I feel like these teams are like somewhat evenly matched, but I wouldn't be shocked if Wisconsin somehow like. <clears throat> won by 14 to 20 points but yeah. uh like this is one of those games though that you feel like like northwestern need fans you know what i mean like oh without a doubt to like get them over the hump to get them to like force a couple false starts yeah the it. yeah like all Dude, that northwestern that that's like that's got to be one of the worst I, it's got to be the worst stadium in the big 10 has oh. to be Five. It's like a it's like uh, a high school fucking stadium. It is it is the I would yeah. say I'm trying to think. It might be it. in the power five. We're gonna say power five or like it's got to be the worst in the power five. How could any other power five have the worst? Like no way SEC, no way ACC, no way Big Twelve, right? I mean anything yeah, I mean, southern is like there's no fucking chance. But like, also if you had even if you have over forty five thousand fans automatically your stadium's better than theirs. Yeah. I mean like it's yeah. like if your stadium holds more than forty five thousand, your it's better. I mean, bro, there's like there's plenty of high school like I bet you the average Texas high school football stadium in Texas is better than that shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's always those ones in Texas that are like there's like a ten million dollar stadium. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like no, Northwestern's is so bad. It it is really fucking bad. But um, I I think this will be a good game. But this could be. This is like I said though. I think this is like one of those like Wisconsin's rolling right now, mm-hmm. and if they get rolling on offense again, their defense is very fucking good. That like Northwestern won't really be able to score. But this is kind of mm-hmm. like the uh, championship game in the Big Ten. Um, yes. Yeah. West, like whoever wins this game is going to be in first place and in driver's seat because Northwestern already beat Purdue and Wisconsin doesn't have to play to Purdue. So, right, kind of 
a championship even if they only, game. Yeah, even if they only play six games, they're still going to have a tiebreaker as long as they beat Purdue later this year. Who? Wisconsin. They don't play Purdue. One, that was one of their games canceled. Oh, so that's why Purdue was 2-0 and going into that yeah, game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like gotcha. It's, it's Wisconsin wins this game. They literally – Yeah. They, they, could they, still, they could still lose a game and they right. lose the tiebreaker because Purdue probably is going to lose another game. So, um, yeah, I don't really – I would I would probably lean towards Wisconsin. What about – could Iowa force like a three-way tie or do they not play Iowa? They have two losses already. Yeah, yeah Iowa lost two. twice. Who, yeah. they lo- who else did they, they lose? They lost to, to Northwestern. They yeah, I know Northwestern. Northwestern. Oh, in Purdue. Northwestern and oh, Purdue, geez. yeah. So, like, both Fucking teams Iowa. Ahead. How did Iowa shit the fucking sheets? Like Northwestern game, Northwestern, so Northwestern game, they were up like twenty one nothing too, and yeah. twenty four to twenty one. So like, I don't know. I don't know how Purdue did that when they played so poorly against uh, Northwestern. Well, Iowa beats Purdue if Iowa's running back doesn't fumble. Purdue Iowa was up like four points or three points or something like mm-hmm. that with the ball with like four minutes. This dude broke a run to put it in Purdue territory. That would have been a first down, take another however long time off the clock. He fumbles, pretty gets the ball, scores a touchdown with like a minute left in the game. So, like, Ooh. Iowa essentially could be undefeated at this point, but they're could not. Could have, should have, would have. Yeah, exactly, but they're not. So, I feel like um, they, Iowa usually wins those games yeah. as of late. Too. And not, not but, everyone yeah. could be undefeated. You know, it's just, just how you, how we do. Yeah. Over soak, here, it, you know. soak it in for another week. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what they should do. Wait, let me give my analysis here. Okay, but what's okay, but this is what sucks though. Okay. Let's say Northwestern finishes seven and one. I know Northwestern loses to Wisconsin. Yeah, that's bullshit. I was just gonna say I that. Still like, how think does that even though they played head to head, it still is not fair because Northwestern could have been like, Oh, well, we have COVID, we're gonna miss two games and one of them's Wisconsin. I mean, if dude, you know if they I mean? were like, if, if if there was like a diehard competitive coach, like at the same time, like a pussy and didn't want to actually play the game. Yeah. Try, well, try COVID and just move on and just go win every other game and see what the well, fuck Well, did you see it. what, like, some coaches in the American have been saying? Mm-mm. They've been saying that, like, they'll have, like, 15 injuries and two guys out with COVID. And, and they'll, they'll be say like, oh, 17. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, well. We don't have enough guys. We don't have enough guys. We're not playing. And coaches are just like, dude, this is not a, like – the COVID's for the COVID, and I get that. But, like, <clears throat> stop being pussies about playing football and using yeah. like, injuries as an excuse. Like, that's right. bullshit. You can't do that any other year. Play the fucking football game. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, like, pe- people were saying that IU was thinking about doing that for this week so that – They can be undefeated. So that we would go – No, no one would, said they were thinking about that. They're saying they should do it. No, I would never fucking do. That. I know Tom Allen would, is too. Yeah. Say, He's Tom literally Allen, crying no in a post game interview. Zero point zero chance. Right. The, That's what the I'm temple. Saying. The temple coach. How this? How I like was listening to this. The temple coach. They played Central Florida this past weekend, and mm-hmm. they have they have like twenty guys injured, but they keep playing. And he was like calling out other coaches. He's like, "See, you play football. Like if COVID's the actual issue." No one like we all understand that like right. no one's gonna like fault you for that, but like let's we're not gonna do this because of fucking injuries. Yeah, and that's just part of the I, but it's like you can't shame them because the guy could have been like, well, we had fifteen, not three. You know, like you know, people would spin it and then it'd be like, oh, coach so and so was shaming so and so for not playing because of COVID, and it's like, right? No, they're not. But okay, whatever, guys. Yeah, teams got to be careful how they manage their uh, PR and like their outlook in the media this year because that could really affect your overall like recruiting status and like power for like upcoming high school classes because if you're a high school kid and you're getting recruited and you're like oh wow this school did this really pussy thing like I don't want to go play for them or the school like called them out for like wanting to play football I don't want to go play for them fuck them so Hopefully that's not. It's a big PR spot. Like I mean, for teams, yeah, for teams that. Um, I don't know about that. Not liking. Yeah, you're what? Right. But I don't. I don't. No, I just, you're. You're just unplug your headphones. Yeah, and plug, it back in. plug it. Plug it in. Plug it back in. But I don't. I don't think if. I mean, it's 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 this. That's impossible to prove. Like a coach can call you out all they want. Like there's no way to prove any of that shit though. No, so, that's what I'm saying. Is like it doesn't. It doesn't really matter because like 
the moment no, I'm you... saying like I'm talking to Nagy. So like, there's I don't think it's going to affect recruiting really. I don't think it'll affect recruiting, but yeah, because like if you say you have three guys out for COVID, yeah, and you can just guys you out, can do it. The moment like, like if Wisconsin ha- didn't, if their quarterback could not play like all those weeks, like keep yeah, they fucking canceling. Like just you sh- like I get I get why you'd want to, but like it's a fucked year. So they either like, dude, fuck this. We don't we don't we'll play Purdue whenever we, we're all here. Like because he's if it's COVID related. But if he's actually hurt, then it's like, okay, that's when I was like, you got, that's when I think you need to play. If it's COVID, yeah. I'm like, dude, fuck that. Like, you don't have your starting quarterback. Like, that's a huge. huge but it's huge. also like, I mean, you never know because you could have two guys out with COVID and 15 with injury. And yeah. then if someone complains, you'll be like, well, you didn't see our test. It's actually 15 guys are out with COVID, not mm-hmm. two. Like, we and, but you like, don't even need the testing now. You can just say contact tracing. Like, you can just say, also, they were yeah, you can also say that too. Like, Oh, this, so you, were, so you uh, realistically you need one fucking positive test from anybody and say, oh, these fifteen were around him. Uh, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's right. What's happening. Like, that's you guys what, all got dinner. That's what's yeah. happening in Texas A and M. Yeah, this weekend they're like not playing again because of one guy basically tested positive, and there's like <laughs> who do they play this week or who were they supposed to play? I don't know. I'm not sure, but they have like sixteen. It's not someone good. Like the past two weeks, it wasn't supposed to be anyone good. But there's like 16 guys out for contact tracing, so it's like, it's like we're, 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 I don't know what are we doing, but yeah, it's absurd. Wait, I don't even think I've said my thing on this yet. No, neither of you have said. Who you so guys think. okay, I I think Wisconsin continues to roll here. That's my like my uh, just gut. Yeah. Um, seven and a half sucks. I wish it would be at seven. I just take it. Seven and a half. I that's like the worst spread in fucking sports. Um. I love the over at oh, 44 yeah. too. Like, I think was there. I don't think Northwestern is going to be able to stop Wisconsin. Like once they get rolling, like maybe they'll, it'll start slow or whatever, but with, it is I mean, supposed to rain a majority of oh, Saturday in Fuck. like the Midwest area, but yeah. like, it's like, it's supposed to be like off and on 40 to 50%, but just like throughout the day. So it's just mm-hmm. like scattered showers, I don't like that. but don't either like way, that. like, I think, I do think was like Wisconsin's ground game is a lot of the, is like a decent amount of their offense compared to like a lot of big scoring uh, colleges nowadays and like especially this year. So like I think well, they I mean, also I think they I could mean, still put up like yeah they also do like half their offense is like uh, end of rounds with their wideouts like all they do they right. like, against Michigan they threw for like a hundred yards they just right. ran right. the so ball I'm the not, entire I'm not, fucking game. I still like the over too. I just was saying I don't think it's an easy over. Just because I don't know if Northwestern I think, can score. Yeah. I think Wisconsin will win like thirty-one to like like seventeen or thirty-one to thirteen. Like they're not going to hit the over by like more than a touchdown or so if the over hits. Yeah, I feel that. Mm-hmm. So those are what I think. I think Wisconsin covers and uh, the overheads. Yeah, I like I like was or I I like Wisconsin probably a little bit more than the over, but I'd still take them both as well. Okay, so next game we got to talk about. We got two more games, and then we'll get to our cards. Uh, we got big in-state rivalry. We got Oklahoma State going to Oklahoma. Um, Oklahoma didn't play last week, right? Did either of these teams play last week? No, like no one in the Big 12 played last. Yeah, week. Had everything got canceled. Okay. Try to unplug okay. and plug back so, in. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's the two. Uh, lines at seven and overs at 59. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's what I see too. Um, can you try to see if you can talk now? Isn't it kind of wild? Nagy, you can talk real quick. Yeah, uh, yeah. Isn't it kind of wild? Like Oklahoma's seven point favorites. Yeah, I was gonna say if you like rewind like two three weeks ago, you're like, wait, what? How are they fucking favored? Yeah, but it's pretty crazy. So they both have or no? So Oklahoma State has one loss and Oklahoma has two. Two. Okay. So this is like honestly a huge game for. Does it Te- decide at all? Well, for Texas too, because like Texas has two losses, Oklahoma has two losses. Oklahoma mm-hmm. State has won, but if Oklahoma State loses this game, that means that they lost to Texas and Oklahoma. So, right. so like in terms of the, the Big Twelve championship, 
it doesn't decide at all, obviously, because there's a bunch of games left. But, like, it is – well, then you have Texas. Like, Kansas State's four – okay, Iowa State's five and one. So, if Oklahoma wants any chance of going – I, the Big 12 is fucking weird because didn't Kansas State beat Oklahoma? So, like, mm-hmm. like they kind of decide their own fate, too. So, they're tied with Oklahoma. That, that's fucking – this is a huge game, I guess. But it also could kind of, kind of uh, secure Oklahoma State in the Big 12 championship if they could win. Um, Iowa State still has to play at Texas. So – yeah, so for Oklahoma State, this this could secure their spot, but it, their spot. But there, yeah. it, there's just so many implications here for this game, nonetheless. Yeah, like, the Big Twelve. No, it's it's gonna be wild to see who plays in the. Yeah, because last week I heard someone say like Texas still controls their own destiny somehow, right? Or is that even is that well, true? Well, I mean, if they, if if Oklahoma loses, right now, or is that not how it goes? I maybe because if. Because TCU Texas, is out. Like, TCU, is a, that, TCU loss is irrelevant. There's only five teams who, like, have a shot at going, really. So, but no, Texas, I think, does. Because they play Iowa State and Kansas State. So okay, yeah, that would make sense then. So then, yeah, their tiebreaker would be. Um, but then if Oklahoma won out. So, do, so if Oklahoma won out, then. No, yeah, because if Oklahoma wins out, then it'd be Texas, Oklahoma, and the. Uh, but Iowa State beat Oklahoma. So it'd be a three way we'll, we'll, tie. We should Yeah, we should we should definitely just like give like the like the records and standings like maybe two or three more weeks before we try to get super yeah. into it. Because it's just gonna change every week anyways, too. Yeah, but this is it's just like a lot of math and a lot of like tiebreakers right now when fu- a lot of fu- teams have similar it's records. fucking interesting though. Like this game this game You think it has like, huge implications on the game? Yeah, I mean this is Oklahoma for one, Oklahoma if they lose, they can't go to Like the like the game yeah. itself. Do you like I mean yeah, I, I like, 100% do you think there's that three there's like, three game there's three games left in every Big 12 season. This is 100% in Oklahoma's back of their mind. The Big 12 championship this year okay. is the national championship because no team has a sniff of a chance of making the playoffs. So I think in the back of their head, yeah, I think this is actually huge because I think – Massive all, for recruiting, probably. I think they're all sitting there like, hey, we want to go to the Big 12 championship. At uh, least. Like seven points is a lot. I wouldn't be shocked if Oklahoma won by 10. I think their offense is like finally clicking and their defense is okay. Oklahoma State's offense isn't that good. So, like, Oklahoma's defense makes a few stops. This game could be a 14-point game before you know it. But uh, I would lean Oklahoma, but I think seven's a lot of points, too. Yeah. like <laughs> This game, I just I feel like you just don't even think, just take the over and say, fuck it. No, they're good. Yeah. Like, it's just, I, mean, I feel like, when's the last time this game hasn't gone over? That's what I'd like to see. That's. I mean, it's even. Guy. Yeah, I have no clue. But even if, even if fucking. Uh, like, Oklahoma's defense is so bad, too. Like, they could come out and play, but they are so bad, too, to the point, like, fucking Oklahoma State can score points. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad idea at all. That, yeah, it's I'm a tough line. Tough line. I would be I would be worried about the over because if Oklahoma State like forces a stop or a turnover like first quarter of the game, they might just try to take control of the clock and trust their defense. Because oh, you want Oklahoma to start hot if you take the over. That's for sure. Right, and that's why. I mean, this is gonna be the best defense that Spencer Rattler's faced in his college career so far. Um, eh. I think. I mean, Iowa State. I would say. You think so? I would say between them or like those are one, two, though. So yeah. Okay. I mean. Well, either way, I I really like the under. Um, and then I like the under more than I like Oklahoma State plus seven. Um, no, I, I unders in the Big Twelve just seems sacrilegious, bro. I could never 
I know, but that. that's that's why everyone thinks, and then everyone bets over, and then everyone loses. No, but they but they've been they've been adjusted. Like this line's only like what is it, fifty eight, fifty nine. 59 and a half. Yeah. Like last year, this would be like at 75 points. Right. I agree. It's just like a weird year. And I do think Oklahoma state's defense is, is pretty solid. Uh, Texas played really well against Oklahoma state. Like that was probably, that was without a doubt the best game they played this year in terms of like four quarter play. For sure. Um, so I think Oklahoma, this week off is going to be better for Oklahoma state in my opinion. Uh, just like, turning their defense back around, getting back on pace, but probably won't go on my card, but I do like the, I do like the under of the four choices. Um, All right, let's get to the real game. Yeah. Real game. Saturday noon, we got the Indiana Hoosiers number nine right now. And we're taking on Ohio state, the fucking, Superman's crimson of forever. The what? It's 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 uploading the line, so I'm just trying to stall. It's twenty and a half. Twenty and a half, yeah. Right. It just like yeah, but I you said it, you said the crimson. Did you mean the kryptonite? I meant the kryptonite. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wasn't really thinking about what I was talking. I was just trying to. Dude, twenty and time. a half. Like, look, I think Ohio State's gonna win this game. Do I think IU is like with like? Like, if it was, like, 13, I would probably take Ohio State. But, like, dude, I don't really know, man. Scores? I don't, I don't think that's it, – it's a disrespectful line, like, in terms of just top 10, but I honestly don't think it's that far off. Like, but do you think IU – Could easily be but that. But do you think easily. IU is really – like, the teams that they played have won, like, one game. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, like I, dude, trust me, like, I want IU to win this game more than fucking anything. Like, that would be insane. But IU – like – are we going to be surprised if Ohio State wins 45 to 24? I mean, that covers. Not at all. That's yeah, what I, so th- that's, no, but that's my – like, I would love it if it was 13 and a half in Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. But I could see – Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say uh, – I could I see – yeah, I yeah. could see, like – I could see a backdoor cover. I also could see, like, Ohio State up 14. Like, I could see IU scoring a touchdown to make it, like, <clears> 24 <throat> points to a 17-point game, and then IU covers. I also could see – it being a 14 or 17 point game in Ohio state, literally saying like, Hey, we need one more touchdown drive in the fourth quarter to make this game look worse than what it is. Do you, do you think that there's any chance the game could go like I using it the whole time? It's like a no sweat cover for the Hoosiers and they got a chance to win it at the end. I, I, yeah, but like, it's like, it's not the same IU Ohio state's not going to like prepare as if this is just a normal game. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Without every, like Penn State sucks. Everyone that Ohio State, other than IU, that they play sucks. So like this is their one game they have to play well for. But like Penn State did play Ohio State and only beat them by thirteen. Yeah, that's because Penn State scored late. I'm just saying, like from a spread perspective, I mean, I just think Ohio State understand that whoever wins this game is gonna is probably gonna win the Big Ten East this year. We're, this so, is- I use not beating Ohio State, so that's not like no, – No, no, I'm, I'm saying, like, toward the end of the game, I don't see them going down and scoring a whatever fuck it touchdown just to, just to cover the spread. Yeah, like, but I also could see them being up 24 points at halftime. Okay. Um, like, I don't see that happening, but, like, yeah, that could happen. Like, Ohio State, they didn't play last week, which honestly I think – Yeah, they got an extra week. Which benefits Ohio State, I think, a lot. Yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, they knew that game was canceled on, like, Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. They could start preparing for IU on Wednesday. Because it wasn't – the game didn't get canceled because of them. It got canceled because of Maryland. Right. That so is definitely – They're def- still, they're still yeah. practicing last week. Damn, that sucked. I didn't, I didn't realize – I didn't take that into account. Yeah. I, mean, I thought for- about that, too. And, like, that was the only way I could, like, reasonably understand why the spread is almost three touchdowns is because they got so long to prepare. So, you have that. The last game that they played against Rutgers, they literally looked like dog piss in the second half. Like, Rutgers outscored them by, like, 21 points in the second half of that game. And why I do think, to your point, Nagy, of you saying that you don't think they'll score a bullshit touchdown, they literally play no one else the rest of the year. Nobody else. So, it's right. like you, you get up for one game. Ohio State could play 
horrible the rest of the year and beat everyone on their schedule the rest of the year playing horrible because right. they just are that much better than the Michigans, the Michigan States. Like all those teams are so bad that they could beat regardless. They don't play Wisconsin. They don't play. I don't even know who they play in their crossover games. I don't think it's. It really... was Nebraska. And is it who the fuck else? Okay, who's so Illinois? Illinois. Illinois. Illinois okay. I think. okay. I so think. like those two, you're done. So like, that's why I do think that like, I think they might, get up for this game a lot. Yeah, it, it's Illinois, by the way. Okay, exactly. Illinois fucking blows. Get up for this game a lot. Plus, like, I think Ohio State kind of has that little chip in their shoulder. Whenever anyone talks about someone else, they're like, all right, you guys are all our little brothers. Let's put you <laughs> back down to where we are. I okay? totally understand that. That's kind of like uh, Clemson with the ACC the past couple of years. Kinda. Yeah, whenever someone gets hype, it's like, Okay, let's play in the ACC championship, little brother, and let's beat you by fifty, and you can go back down to your pet. Like we're yeah, we're the best it's team. it's similar to that, but I, I guess it is pretty similar in the sense that though when those ACC teams get brought up, it's like nobody in their fucking mind thinks. Well, yeah, yeah, like the Big Ten at least has some like like Wisconsin's actually yeah, like they good, they can like they could beat yeah, them. I mean, yeah, but every yeah. time, every single time though, Ohio State puts the fucking beat down on them, so. It's Ohio State doesn't lose to the North. Like, if you look at their last like five losses in the regular season, it's games that you wouldn't ex- like at Iowa. Like, no one really thought Iowa was going to win that game. Per at Purdue, no one really thought Purdue. Was well, win that, that game. was like a, that was one of those games, though. Some things. It, w- it w- was, yeah. You got Tyler. That was Turner. a special, special but, game. Yeah, that but was like they're not they're not losing like the big time top, ten top 10 matchup you know what i yeah, mean like right they're not the last time they, they lost they lost last time they lost one of those was oklahoma when baker yeah, stuck the flag in the field that or penn state when they blocked the field goal i don't know if that was before okay or after. yeah true. i don't know if that was before or after but yes oklahoma and penn, but like normally like they're beating <clears> those teams i just i don't know i it's tough to really know how good honestly most teams are until they play like like yeah, this, IU, is, this will tell IU, us everything. IU in reality, I think, is a good football team. But I, actually, I this won't tell us everything because, like, what? Yeah, it's like when someone gets like A and M gets the shit beat out of Alabama, but then they're they beat. That's what I'm saying. Florida. IU could yeah. IU could still be like what are they? They could they could legitimately eight? be yeah they could be the second best team in all like second or tied for second like if you depending on how you view Wisconsin and them. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is like you, but Ohio State's clear cut number just, one they have been yeah they're just the there year, so it's like yeah like ohio, they definitely have like better players every year if ohio state wins by 24 <laughs> but then iu goes seven and one like i wouldn't be shocked by either of those things like i wouldn't be shocked if ohio oh state, well iu plays wisconsin that's uh, we'll yeah see we that. play okay wisconsin okay okay game. so like then you'll kind of know more i guess like yeah if IU so we'll, we'll be we'll have a really good idea on but, where iu stands but the, like this is i mean this is like for – I mean, we've talked to recruiting a little bit. This is like a big game for that for IU. It's like, okay, can you go Huge. Can you go and play with the big boy? You've beaten everyone else this year. I'm not saying it's going to not get you a recruit, but it might put you in play for a few recruits that you weren't in play with before that were like, oh, shit, dude, IU's fucking legit. Like, that's a cool place to play. They're playing with Ohio State. <clears throat> like, No place to be a student. Eh, gay place to be a student. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean that IU has everything in terms of like the What's non like, yeah, like, non football stuff. It's it's yeah, a top five it's, unit. Like it's yeah. such a fun school. Like it's, you have as you have everything as, yeah. You're recruiting to football. You're like, listen, kid. We have everything other than football here. So yeah. come on. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. But and now we actually can, have kind of have yeah. football. If you can throw in football, it's like you can sell a lot of stuff because. I mean, they still have a, in my opinion, a gay stadium, but like, it's not a bad stadium. It's not. Dude, I feel like I like, like that layout. If that thing was packed and like loud, I feel like that'd be. I dope. guess that's more why I can't. I don't yeah, like it's it. just, you just like, can't. You never like, see, I think it sucks too because there's never no one fucking it in packed. it. Yeah, right. you never yeah. see it packed. But yeah, I, I'm excited for this game because. Is that a landline? Did I just hear a landline? <laughs> um, what the fuck? That's awesome, man. Uh, oh, yeah. Just to let everyone know, Anthony Edwards went number one overall, and James Wiseman went too. But um, so mellow to the fucking Hornets. Yep. But uh, I, I uh, 
I'm excited for this game though, because like this is like me too. Like I use defense has been like the X factor all year. They force the turnovers. They've gotten the stops. I use offense has to show up for them to even compete in this game. Yeah, because yeah. I like Justin, a guy like Penix leading the charge though. Justin Fields is not going to turn the ball over like yeah. anyone that they play. But I use defense can stop them. I'm just saying they're not going to get these like yeah. easy breaks. You, you might get you might get one maybe right. maybe right. two, but that's literally right. it. Like no. So fun. like I IU has to go into this game thinking like, oh, we like have to score. 31, 35 points to even, like, think about how Right, to- right, yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah. who knows, you know, prayers up to Tom Allen's son, horrific injury, but, like, is that going to affect him on the sidelines? That's good, that- that's good, that's good, like, that's good locker room stuff. Like, they all, like, I guess, like, I saw reports from, like, of some of the players on Twitter, on Twitter, like, reports or tweets from them, like, about how much they fuck with him, like, also, because oh, like he's the Tom Allen too. Tom Allen yeah. will get those boys fired up. Like this will this is literally a national title for IU on Saturday. At, at oh yeah, this is the biggest oh, game yeah. I've played in almost 30, 40 years. And yeah. like yeah, they've come close to beating like Michigan when Michigan was but here, top right. Here's but like, my this is this is IU is highly ranked in this game. That's the difference between this and every game that they almost won against a top ten team in the previous. Yeah, yeah. IU it's like, it is wasn't, highly ranked. Right. I so, wasn't supposed to win any of those games. Now they are 20 and a half dogs, but like if they played Ohio State tough, no one would be like, what the fuck happened? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, like everyone's like, okay, I use a good football team. So back in when game day came to Bloomington, does anyone remember that line? Ohio State? Uh, I think it was like the same, honestly. Yeah. Is that not insanity? Like, yeah. I was going to say, I think it was like 23 was, and a half. Yeah, I was going to say like 21, 24, like something it was, it very was definitely, close. It was definitely over three touchdowns last time. But it, but like within three points. And they're, right, it, yeah. It, now this, that was like a <laughs> – Yeah, that was, number, that was number one or number three versus unranked. Yeah, like that's IU. insane. Like that's crazy to think – put that in perspective. But nonetheless, so three things. This being at Ohio State – with no fans is like huge only way IU has a chance. Like if this was with a packed fucking shoe, like I'm oh, sorry, we're it's, just not, yeah. it's just not fucking happening. Um, two, Tom Allen will have those guys fucking ready to run through a brick wall probably today. Like, like I'm in just like every day it gets more and more and more. Like he was crying in the presser uh, with his son and all that shit. So, you know, these guys are going to like literally give it everything they fucking got. So, if it, it makes me want to take IU just knowing that they will like, they will literally come out with all the fucking firepower that you could possibly have for a game like this. But um, I, I would not, I don't, I'm not sure. I, I just can't confidently say that. Like as far as like from an advising uh, picking savant that I am, I can't tell you to hammer <laughs> IU here. Like with bias aside, I, I wanted, I want IU to, I, I would, first of all, uh, I mean, the whole fucking country would is is going to be Hoosier fans on Saturday at noon. Like, For fuck Ohio sure. State. Um, th- this game should have been fucking flex too. Fuck a noon kickoff for this game. Like, that's get this Fox's. Shit on. That's Fox's big game though. Like the I eight, know. the eight p.m. ABC game. That's it Fox takes noon a, game. Yeah, yeah. It just it sucks. Like, come it on. It does suck. I, for some reason, I like when Michigan and Ohio State play at noon. I don't know why. Like, that just, like, feels right. But this this feels like this should be a fucking night game somehow. Or maybe, like, a 3.30 would be fine. But like, I think I think it's kind of a good thing it's a noon game for, for like, I – Yeah, I was going to say, like, that could go either way. I think probably it, – it's tough to say it helps when the Big Ten does it so often. Like, they – it's just, like, a common thing for them to right. play at noon. But, in Ohio State, they do it every single year. So, I don't think it's that – and it's usually but, around this time. Yeah, right? like when you think of like like the game day routine, like for <clears throat> these kids that are like going in like nothing to lose, um, like the nerves won't have it. Hopefully, the nerves won't have a chance to like get really heavy on them I to see, like go into yeah. a noon game, just because this is like probably going to be the most like eyes they've ever had watch them play a game of football ever. Yeah, so, and and you don't have to hold up that like the motivation for as a from a coaching the whole day. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So you just you it's just get up, go on the bus, go do yeah. your calisthenics and play. Yeah. So so, so I, that being said, like, uh, what are, what are we thinking? Like, let's let's all 
make a little concisive pick here. I mean, I'm my pick would be so tough. I guess I'm going. It's sixty six go, on the over under too. Sixty six. Yeah, yeah, I'll go. I'll go Ohio State money line here. I think. <laughs> nah, I. Um, dude, I just. I'm gonna take Ohio State just to hope just, on how you yeah, play most close. Of, Fuck it, yeah. yeah. Like I'll take Ohio State. Fuck it. Here's think, like one of my things for this game is like if Ohio State wins by 28 and you take IU, you're pissed at yourself. So because pissed. you're like, yeah. because like, you're like your happiness a little bit. Yeah. Because you're just like, okay, like I kind of thought this was gonna happen, and I didn't think IU was ready for the spotlight yet. But it, mm-hmm. and it's also like if IU covers. Or plays well and has a chance to win, you're just happy because, like, they you cheer that. for IU over <clears throat> fucking Ohio State any day of the week. Hell but yeah. I would have to go for me. I would have to say I would probably take Ohio State in this game. It is a lot of points. It's like one of those things, though. It's like if it's a tight game at halftime, like you're almost fucked for the like the spread then. So true. That's why, right. like, a first half play seems a little intriguing here too. I, I like, looked at that while you were talking um i really like i really like indiana plus 10 and a half first half i think that's fantastic um because ohio state has shown in the past that they can come out second half and just kind of turn things around if it's not going their way um and they they did it not to interrupt but they did that against uh wisconsin the last time it was like big time rainy game game. Yeah. No, no, no. The regular season game. It was like I teased them. It was like an 18 and a half spread, and I teased them up to 28, and they still didn't fuck. Wisconsin didn't cover. It was the dumbest thing I've ever fucked. Oh, yeah. They just went off in the second. Yeah. And it was like it was like tied at halftime or like really close. Yeah, it was like it was like three or four points, and then yeah. blew it. Um so like plus ten and a half is definitely on the table. I use I use started hot. Um, or like I use first halves this year have been amazing. Just total control over Michigan. Um, they really dominated the first court, the first half against Penn State too, and then second hey, half when they tied it up. They, they, uh, those those fumbles is that we're gonna tur- say? turnovers is what yeah. dominated it. Penn State had like 150 more. Yards right. I mean, I'm not talking about just the offensive side of the football. I'm talking like whole team all around. So yeah, but their I, defense gave up like 300 yards in the first half in that Penn State game. Penn State had like 500 yards of offense. Like didn't score. That. Yeah, score. but I'm saying the only thing they the only thing they <laughs> the only thing they dominated was turnovers and then the like red zone ones too. Like they were okay. deep in the zone. But, but yeah, there's been... I used two touchdown drives in that in that first half for like seven and fifteen yards. IU finds a way, bro. Like I don't know what, what else to say. I guess that was that's but a that's good not point. dominating though. Like that's what I'm no, saying. No, no, no. I mean, you like said they dominated the first half. They didn't by any. No, no, no. I'm not like saying that. like. I'm not saying like the game is over after the first half. I'm just saying um, this year they played better first halves than they've had second halves with maybe an exception of this past week where they still shut out on defense and scored all their points in the first half because they're probably taking it easy on Michael who got banged up in the first, in the first half. Didn't they still end up covering the first half spread this past weekend though? It was, uh, yeah, they were up twenty four nothing. I was yeah. gonna say, yeah, they easily had because a seven point spread. So, yeah. yeah. Or wait, did they? Did, was, yeah, there was no points in the second half, right? Exactly. The was game ended twenty four to zero. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I thought it was. Because Michael point. Michael Penix got banged up in the first half, so like the offense just kind of was like stagnant and just took. It is easy. he so? Wait, is he good to go? Or wait, yeah, he's I mean, good. He's good. They just didn't want him to get hurt against Ohio State. That takes one pop, though, against Ohio State to make you feeling a little iffy. (laughs) But, like, he could have, like, played full – he could have – they could have stuck him in to play full charge and run it up against Michigan State, like, if they really want. I get why you don't, but I'm just saying that's not, like, a welcoming sight. All right, so my picks are going to be Indiana plus 10.5 first half, uh, Indiana plus 20.5 full game, um – I, since I think Indiana's going to cover, I think the over. Over is a lock. Yeah. If, yeah, they, the if over, they cover, exactly. they, it's a lock. Yeah. Um, yeah. I use not losing this game 21 to 10. Like, yeah. Right. No. Um, and they, they will now that we say it like that. Yeah. But. Right. Seven to three. Also, um, there's really great value in the money line on this game. I know it's. <laughs> really? It's, it's, but there is. Like, if you think of like 
what like what percent would you give IU to win this football game? No, I know. Well, of head. course, there's great value in a 20 point dog and money line. Like just off the top, how many? Uh, games I would say like a probably like a 10 percent chance if I'm being okay. Honest. Then never mind. You probably don't want to bet the money line. I would what say do you less think? than 10 percent. But but the what thing think, is about Greg? this game though is like they're plus 600. Like it's that's even if you don't think it's okay. Even if you don't think like they have that much of a chance, it's to the point of like. That's so high that if you just threw like twenty bucks on it, like, yeah. right. like this is a this is a top ten matchup. Like IU is like played well enough to where they definitely have like a reasonable um, like chance to win this game. Where there's value in that in that pick. What, what do you like? What would you throw a percentage on it though? Like anywhere between since it's a COVID year, like twenty to twenty five percent, they win this game. All right. I mean, it's not thought, any, anything less than 30, I would agree with. Yeah, I was going to I, yeah, I was I wasn't gonna say go. like 40 or 50. No, yeah. I, I thought, no, I thought oh. you were going to say like 35%. Yeah, no, I thought, I I thought you were going to say like over 30. Like if 20 they, isn't yeah. that if great. They play, if they play great football every game, they would win this matchup one out of four times. If they played really good football, I think they win this matchup one out of every five games. So that's just me being an optimistic. Oh, no. though, so. Yeah, that's, that doesn't even make sense. You can't, I use good and great is not good enough to beat Ohio State one out of five. Well, you can't or say good. one in four and then one in five. One in five, it's like yeah. One it's like one fucking one game. In 15. Yeah, yeah. You have to up it a little bit. I mean, that's assuming you hold, like, saying Ohio State's going to play, like, the same each time. Like, obviously, they – Well, like, good? Yeah, like, we got to give them, like, a good, right? And what if, at least if Ohio State plays good and IU plays good, Ohio State wins this game. Wins 99. 99 out of 100 yeah. times. No, fuck. IU has to play great. I, in Ohio State, has right. to play, like, pretty fucking bad. I was I, – I didn't, like, really say – I don't know why I tried to put that in perspective. All right, all right. Just go. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, anyway, that's all the highlight games. We kind of ran about Dude, almost we, every this, this episode is so goddamn long. Um, I know. We so got it in that some being rant. said, let's, uh, let's, let's get into our, our cards. So, all right. Thank Any, someone just fast forward to this point and just know you missed a lot. Anybody yeah. want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. All right. I'll start off with Coastal Carolina minus five and a half. I will take Army minus four against Georgia Southern. I love the troops. I will take hmm, the troops. I will take. Oh, that's Cincinnati plays Central Florida this weekend. Fuck. Yeah. I will take Wisconsin minus seven and a half. I think they continue to roll. I will yeah. take Vatek minus three. I will take. Who are they playing? Oh, they Pitt. are yeah. playing Pitt. Yep. I will take Liberty money line. I just think that's. Love that pick. If they're plus money, you might as well take them, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. And then I will save my do or die. Ooh, short fucking card this week, eh? Yeah, I'm probably going to add some stuff. Yeah. 100% going to add stuff, but that's just my my look right now. Yeah, so kind of going out of order on when they play, but if Utah plays, I like Utah plus three. They, I don't – like, who the fuck? Every fucking week they can't play, so who the fuck knows? Utah against USC. Um, it's at Utah, too. USC has been – I mean, they literally should have lost both of these fucking games. Like, they, those – like, I don't know, like, those uh, indicators where it's, like, probability of wins. They looked like the Falcons. Um, they were playing the Falcons both fucking weeks. Like, they were, like, like, 90-something percent chance to lose, and they somehow find a way to win. It was just insane how Arizona – yeah, the Arizona State. In the Arizona State, crazy. too. It was crazy. Like, unbelievable how they won those games. Um, but also, like, Liberty, I'll just take the fucking points. I, I probably would sprinkle money line too, but um, definitely with the points. Um, kind of like Oklahoma minus seven here. Not sure if I, – I might add it to my card. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> also – like San Diego State cannot find that fucking line here. That's uh, where the hell is it? Three thirty uh, CBS game this weekend, I believe. I think so. Yeah, it's against Nevada. Um, 
minus two. Yeah, like that. That's the three thirty CBS game this weekend since the ACC game got canceled. Nice. Okay, that's gonna be like on legit. TV. Brad Nessler, like the whole crew's going. Hell yeah. So, um, so the Cincy, uh, South Florida over. Oh yeah, over. I love the over there. Sixty three and a half, right? Yeah. Love that over. Um, I like Wisconsin seven and a half over Northwestern. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to add this, but I'm just going to say it uh, right now because so I can go back and remember if I need to. But BYU minus 47 and a half, kind of like that. I probably will not take it though. I'm just going to say it though. Just oh, yeah, they play like Western Carolina, right? Uh, North Alabama, they play or North Alabama, yeah. yeah. So one of those fuckers. Um, that is going to be my do or die. So I'll go over that. I, I like uh, I like Florida minus 31 and a half over Vandy too. I think they fucking blow the doors off of those guys. Like Vandy will not stop them like a single fucking possession. Um, like that a lot. Um, over in an app state, Carolina or coastal Carolina, like I said um, earlier, I, I actually am going to add that to my card. Um, another love the troops pick air force minus seven over new mexico love that pick um i think they kill them um i do like fau minus 32 i think it is uh over umass umass is fucking awful uh they they just suck i don't think they they may not even score um what do you guys i went to ask this before we started the cards what do you guys think about the purdue minnesota line minus or Purdue's favorite now at Minnesota. That's what I see anyway. I like Purdue in that game. Minnesota's so bad. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I, yeah, I think F, or, uh, FAU, you know, turns it up against FIU, so hopefully they can do the same, and then UMass just fucking blows. So they're 0-2, and they've scored a combined of 10 points. So like that game. And they, they haven't it, – it's been 41 nothing, 51-10, so they lost by 41 both fucking games. Um, I think that rounds it out for me. Yeah, everything else is already starting tonight, so I'll save my do or die though. All right. Um, I was also looking for Purdue. I couldn't find them for some reason. I got two and a half Purdue's favorite. Oh, I have three. Oh, I did put I I put the game on my card, but it's not a spread. Okay, so um, I got a couple money lines in here. Uh. I'll save those for the last bit. Are you right. feel? How are you feeling on this slate, everybody? On a scale of one to ten, I love my slate. I actually, I actually like my slate too. I like the games this weekend. Wait, so have uh, I? Yeah, go ahead. For betting, I like it. Uh, I don't know how fun a lot of the big games will be after like the noon o'clock games. Yeah. I mean, Oklahoma. I'm just, I'm just a, a huge. I love college football. So I like. I think this is a good fucking slate. I mean, we got some good fucking games. Right. Here. Well, I'm gonna. I have a. I you have also a, get a. You also get a late night Hawaii Boise oh, State. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just love that. Well, love that. I get to go. Pac to my, back. I get to go to my nephew's baptism on Saturday. Shout out Ellen. Uh, my sister listens. Uh, she decided to schedule her kid's baptism Ooh. at five o'clock on a. Saturday. At least, dude, at least she didn't. I was gonna say, at least you get to at least she didn't do it at noon. Yeah. yeah, right. That's what. That's like what me and my parents were saying. So we're driving down there at like nine o'clock so we can like watch. Wait a the minute. Entire Ohio that's kind of IU game. That's kind of like super lucky that it wouldn't be at like at noon or one. Exactly. Though, right? That's why yeah. five five yeah. isn't terrible because you get like that little stretch of the break kind of of like yeah, maybe like the kind three, of between the three thirty like the game's I mean, already kind of over five it, i mean you would rather have it on like a sunday but like if it is going to be on a saturday it's, it could be it's best case scenario scenario for us because we also have reservations after the baptism so <clears throat> it's perfect so that being said my picks uh i got i actually am taking the under in the purdue minnesota game 62 and a half <laughs> Um, and wow, that's a lot of fucking points. Jeez. Indiana plus ten and a half first half. So first half. Okay, there we go. 
just so I don't fuck that up later. Um, uh, Indiana, Ohio State over uh, the 66. Um, then I got Iowa minus two and a half against uh, uh, who do they play? Fuck. Iowa? Yeah. Forget Iowa me. plays Penn State. Yeah, that's who it is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Iowa minus two and a half against Penn State. And then I tailed uh, Michael's pick on Vatek. They're due to, like, finish a game here. So, I like the minus three and a half. I agree. Uh, against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's been very mediocre all year. They've won some games, but super mediocre, like, every week. And then my uh, money line picks. Obviously, I got to throw IU in there for a unit, plus 650. Um, I don't, yeah. don't advise that. That's just, just for me. Because it's a huge payout. I have win, to, though. right? Exactly. And then my <laughs> other money line is going to be uh, Arkansas plus one fourteen against LSU. I don't mind that at all. And that might yeah. Oh, I forgot. I, I kind of did like LSU there, but I won't take it. Yeah. And, and then my do or die. All right, I'll start. My do or die <laughs> is Stanford minus one and a half at home against Washington State. Mm, going with the Pac-12 game soon. Mm, still, yep. still early in the regular season. I'm scared. I, I haven't put a Pac-12 on my card all year yet. I just <laughs> can't, dude. I don't know shit about the Pac-12. Um, yeah, that's my do or die though for five units. Five Damn. units. Um, fuck. I might, I might swap these, but I still have them both on my card now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but. I like Memphis minus – is it 20 or 30 – or uh, 29 or 30? I'll look. <clears throat> Against what's, Steve, what's, Stephen what's F. Austin. Is it what's the other noon? game you're thinking about? Uh, I'm, I might swap FA, FAU. Okay. FAU to be the do or die versus over Memphis. They both have minus 30 lines roughly. Um, okay, yeah, minus 30 and a half. 30 and a half, okay. At home. Um, at home, fuck. Uh, it's gonna be one of those two games. Um, fuck it, you can throw both of them on. I could. You're on a zero losing streak. Wait, the twentieth is uh, Friday. Okay, so I could do the. I might do the. Uh, yeah, I'll do the FAU one first because it's on a Friday, and then we'll see. Right, and then if you want to add it, if uh, it wins, so you don't go on right. to yeah. That's fun. Um, and then what about, dude, I was trying to look for like, just like an, a, an outrageous fucking line. And the one that oh. I found Albany and Christian against Virginia is like plus 40. I saw I just, a 47 pointer. Um, where, who was it? I'm looking. I might just throw that on. I, I love taking the huge dogs, just seeing if they can do it. Just cause it goes, it literally goes to the whole game. We took – I've told this story like 100 times. I don't know about it on this podcast, but we took our, our kind – it's Arkansas Pine Bluff. We called them our kind Pine Bluff <laughs> against uh, South Dakota State, who's like the number one FCS, like dynasty-worthy team. We took our, Arkansas Pine Bluff plus 77, I think. Or it was like plus 70. I 72, I think. Yeah, we took them plus 70, and they fucking didn't even come close to it. Like, they lost by, like, 80-something. No, it was 70, and they lost by, like, 84. Yeah, like, they, they lost by, like, another good two, three scores. Like, I've never seen worse defensive backs at a collegiate level. Than, <laughs> uh, like, like, it was there, insane, there's, dude. there's no reasons why these guys should have gotten a Bro. ounce of money to play football. Like, dude, like it these was these guys shouldn't even get meals paid for. To, like, bro, <laughs> I, like, like, pen, like Penn's no, freshman it was team so, would give them it was a game. so bad. Like, they would throw the ball in the air, and like it was a such a shitty feed. Like at first, you're like, okay, they got to be there. Like, that was just yeah. a drop back, and he threw it as high as he could. After like the third one, you knew it was a fifty yard touchdown. Yeah, just a like, fifty yard bomb. bomb All right, bomb. I got it for you, Alina. Who is it? North Alabama, BYU. 47. Oh, that's that's right. That's right. And I I wanted to take BYU too. Fuck. I can't do that with BYU, bro. Just throw it on the card though. Yeah, I might. I okay. might. We'll see. Um, dude, I wouldn't against BYU. They try Yeah, to BYU the is too fucking one. good. Yeah. And they, they have to. to. Yeah. yeah, that's that's very true. They have to be. Oh, I meant like take BYU. Mine oh no, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah. I that's what I was like. I, I would go BYU there over uh Hell yeah. 
which is just insane. Seven but. touchdowns. Nagy, what's yours? Mine, I mean, I got to roll with Wisconsin, bro. Like, oh, seven like and that. A, minus seven and a half <clears throat> points. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I know the weather is going to be bad, but I think that's better for Wisconsin. I don't really understand why this isn't closer to, like, Saturday is supposed to be like 45 and, and cloudy, so not terrible. It's like it's it's like scattered thunder, scattered showers in like the Midwest. It just kind of depends what happens with the storm as yeah. what Saturday comes along. But I mean, I feel like I feel like rain affects Northwestern more than Wisconsin though, because Northwestern like airs it out. Wisconsin can just line up and fucking beat the fuck out of you. Sure, yeah. So I mean, That's- I'm. That's exactly the logic I had going into that Wisconsin Ohio State game last year. I think I think it was last year, where they were and it was raining it in Ohio State. Remember, like that was the game. Yeah, yeah. And it and they could not run the ball. They had Jonathan fucking Taylor, and they still couldn't run the ball. Yeah, but Ohio State's a little better than Northwestern. They are. Yeah, I know. But but so. either way, um, even if Wisconsin fucks me on my do or die, Peyton Ramsey, former Hoosier, plays a good game against Wisconsin. Win win situation for me there. Oh, oh hell no! What the fuck, <laughs> Peyton Ramsey? Yeah, I forgot about that guy. And he took down Purdue this past week, so he did. Fuck it. Is that right, Mason's that's... brother? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's all I got, though. If you that's guys all got... I got. Stay tuned. If you're listening to this, I may adjust my card slightly a little bit. So yeah, tune into the tuned fucking to Twitter. look my... at the victory victory lap Twitter. My card's probably going to be adjusted, too. We'll see you next week, boys. Peace. Peace. Victory Lap.